Well, Democratic plans for getting rid of President Trump before the next election are getting increasingly zany and maybe a little far-fetched. You'll remember that rigging the Electoral College was on the agenda. That didn't work. Impeachment was supposed to fix it. That's not going anywhere. And much to their chagrin, Trump is a teetotaler, so he's probably not going to drink himself to death. So here's the new idea, the 25th Amendment. If you watch any kind of lefty media, you've heard a lot about it recently. A group of Democratic congressmen want to recreate an 11-member medical commission that would remove a president from office if they deem him mentally unfit. Obviously, they believe Trump would immediately be ousted. The 25th Amendment uh, is utilized when a president uh, is perceived to be incompetent or unable to do his or her job. He needs to resign. And I stand by that because he is inappropriate for the office. When we send our troops in a harm's way, they need to know that the president is of sound mind, rational, and doing it for the right purposes. And these tweets make us question that. If any of the viewers want to Google narcissistic personality disorder, uh, I'm very concerned about his fitness to be the president as well. And maybe a, condition, a commission is the way to get at it. I wait for an election. Jonathan Turley is the Shapiro Professor of Public Interest Law at George Washington School of Law, and he joins us now. Professor, thanks for coming on. So the thanks. 25th Amendment, I think most people are not even aware that it exists. We explain its purpose and whether it's ever been used before. Well, it has been used. It has various parts to it. One is a temporary transfer of authority. We've had presidents who've gone through colonoscopies, right. for example, and they've handed over uh, those powers to the vice president pending their op outcome of their operation. What hasn't been used is Section 4, uh, which is really sort of the nuclear option. It's when uh, a vice president goes to the cabinet and says, I think this president is not capable of discharging uh, the powers of his office. Uh, it is also a provision for Congress to do that. That's what this bill is all about. Uh, but this is, in my view, wildly premature. And I, I can't imagine it can get much support, even in these rather zany times. So would it require the vice president's complicity? Would he have to go to the cabinet or the Congress with his concerns for this to work? Pence would have a key role in whatever avenue they took. Uh, first of all, he would have to be a key player in taking the first approach, which is to uh, tell the to go to the cabinet and get a majority vote of the cabinet. But he also has the abilities to derail the second approach. Uh, that's obviously unlikely. The biggest problem is that the 25th Amendment really foresaw physical disabilities. That's what most people were thinking of. Uh, they were specifically right. thinking of Eisenhower. Eisenhower had a heart attack and then a stroke that affected his speech. Then, of course, uh, we lost John Kennedy in an assassination, and that sealed the deal. Uh, the 25th Amendment was fashioned at that time, and it was ratified. Um, it does extend to mental disabilities, but a lot of people don't realize that a lot of our presidents had mental disabilities. Uh, you know, you, Lincoln was thought to suffer from depression. Kennedy, Nixon, Pierce, Coolidge, uh, they all had conditions right. that people had raised. But it's a dangerous thing once you get into the mental disability area, because that's when you can really get uh, a lot of political uh, mischief. You know, when the, when, the, when the member of Congress said, just Google narcissism, if you do that, it would apply to probably two-thirds of the members of Congress. Um, you know, it, it's... No, it's, I, don't, I don't think that's true. I think it would apply to every single one. I, I don't know <laughs> any of the 435 who would fall outside that description. So, but it's not... I guess the point is... You know, everywhere you go in lefty news world, you're hearing about the 25th Amendment. But it's not as simple as a couple left-wing congressmen getting together and deciding, I don't like the president, we're removing him, we're impaneling an 11 doctor panel or whatever. I mean, this is a process that's very unlikely to happen because it'd be hard to pull off. Am I, am I right? No, it'd be very hard uh, to pull off. In fact, in that second option, you need uh, a two-thirds vote of both houses. But even if it were possible, what people have to keep in mind is that this is a dangerous game to play. You know, it wasn't long ago when I was critical of the Democrats for frittering away their legislative authority under the Obama administration. Um, a lot of members are short sellers. They tend to do things uh, with not That's much right. foresight. This would be a very dangerous game indeed. If you succeeded in actually removing a president because you think that he's narcissistic or as one member said, he's not doing the right thing for the right reason, 
That's an awfully dangerous standard. The framers didn't want that. That's why the 25th Amendment was passed as late as it was. Uh, the framers created a very simple and short and, frankly, inadequate uh, process. Uh, and the 25th Amendment was meant to, to, to deal with that. But the reason the framers didn't go further is I think they were very uncomfortable with the thought of letting the legislature remove a, a sitting president. Right, because we have these elections, or we used to have these elections that kind of <laughs> decided the outcome. I thought that was the whole point. Jonathan Turley, thank you for joining us. Thanks, Tucker. It was interesting.